What is up you guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my channel. So, just a pre-warning, this is gonna be a long video and I can already tell it's gonna be a long video because I have literally like a hundred things to show you guys. No word of a lie, I literally think I have like nearly a hundred things to show you guys. As you can tell by the title today, I'm gonna be doing a massive haul slash unboxing of a ton of K-beauty and J-beauty makeup and beauty products. I did a testing Korean makeup video a few weeks ago and oh my God, you guys loved it. I wasn't really sure how that video would go down because I know it's not like a testing brand makeup video, but you guys love that so much that I'm definitely gonna be doing more in the future, so let me know if there are any specific products or anything like that that you want me to try out. In that video, I let you guys know that I had done a massive, massive order of like K-Beauty and J-Beauty makeup products, so I asked you if you wanted to see a haul video, and so many of you said yes, so here we are. So yeah, like I said, I mean, wait for it. We've got a whole box here, and wait. We've got another box here. So, we've got a lot to get through. Let's get into it. Can you see me? Hello? So what I'm gonna do, I think, is literally just go through everything in no particular order. I have already unboxed everything just so there wasn't loads of packaging or whatever, but I can't actually remember half the stuff that I got, so this is gonna be interesting. So first of all, this was actually a free gift that you get when you spend like a certain amount of money on that website, and I spent way too much money on that website. This is the History of Faux? Is that how you say it? Um, Radiant White Three Piece Special Gift Kit. And by the way, in one of my last videos, um, a few of you guys were getting a little bit annoyed that I didn't really know the difference between K-Beauty and J-Beauty. I'm sorry, I'm new to this. So just a heads up, chances are in this video, I'm gonna be making a lot of mistakes as to where these products come from and what they're called. This one here though, it just says just here that it's from Korea. So yeah, this is the History of Who Radiant White Gift Set. Oh, that's quite cute. Next up, I had to go ahead and pick up the bubble clay mask. So this is the Elisa Vecca Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. Like, look at this little pig here. He's just wearing a little mask, I love it. And this, this is from Korea, I believe. I've seen a bunch of videos on this and I really wanted to kind of try it out myself. I'm doing a lot more Instagram videos at the moment and I thought this could be good for that. So how the hell do I open this? So basically, I'm sure you guys have seen people try this out before but it just kind of like bubbles up on your face. It's bubbling up so much. I literally put like the tiniest little amount on there and it looks like I'm going a bit moldy. Okay, I'm gonna have a whale of a time using that. Next up, I have a bunch of sheet masks. Now I actually picked these up in my local TK Maxx, not these in particular, but I did try these out originally from TK Maxx and I loved these so, so much. They are the Tony Moly I'm Real Mask Sheet. So they have different like scents or whatever. This one is the Mac Gioli Mask Sheet Skin Purifying. Looks like that, but I've tried this one and it's really, really nice. And then I also have this little guy, which as you can see has Squirtle on the front. And this is the Kiko Boogie Mask Sheet Lotus Hydrating. Just got it because it was cute. Oh my God, I really did go ham on the sheet masks. Another thing I picked up is from Etude House. It is the My Beauty Tool Lovely Etty Hairband. I think this has like cat ears on it or something. I picked it up because it was like $3 on there and I thought it could just keep the makeup out of my face when I do tutorials. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm leaving that on for a minute. So then another sheet mask. It just says snail on it. It's literally got like snail secretion yeah it contains snail secretion filtrate i've actually tried snail gel moisturizer before i tried it ages ago but i saw this and again thought it could be a funny instagram video or something i actually have an idea as to what i'm gonna do wait and see because it's gonna that's gonna be an interesting video that's all i'm gonna say but yeah i've got the snail mask i also have what are you you are the a Pew Watermelon Slice Sheet Mask. It says 12 small slices, looks like this. And yeah, so you're not gonna be able to see this probably, but I may try and do a close up or something, but it's literally like slices that kind of look like this. Kind of like a sheet mask, you just pop them over your face or wherever you want them. Literally so many sheet masks. Okay, I'm gonna try and whiz through these. Another one from the brand A Pew. Let me know if I'm saying that right, because I'm probably not. I need to take this thing off because it's kind of making my head sweat. So this here is the Milk One Pack. It looks like a milkshake, honestly. Korean, like K-Beauty and J-Beauty packaging is just the cutest thing ever. That's pretty much why I bought the majority of this stuff. I just saw it and was like, yes, 
I'm gonna need that. So this one is in the scent or the flavor. It says strawberry. So it says strawberry milk. I think this is another freebie that I got for spending a certain amount of money and it is the Centella Asiatica from Skin Food. It's like another sheet mask. Um, contains Centella Asiatica extract. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I've got absolutely no clue. I then have these Acne Pimple Master Patches from C-O-S-R-X, COSRX. Don't know how to say that one either. Um, and these are basically just little tiny like dots that I think you put over spots and it's meant to help to get rid of them. So that could be cool. I then have two more of these masks from Tony Moly. These are the broccoli ones. They're for Vitality. And again, I've tried these out before. Really, really nice. They're a lot cheaper to buy on there as well. I think from TK Maxx, I got them for like three or four pounds. And I think on the YesStar website, they cost $3. So definitely recommend you pick those up on there if you're going to. I then have this Holica Holica Pig Clear Blackhead Three Step Clip. Clit? No. Pig Clear Blackhead Three Step Kit. Last but not least for the sheet masks, at least I think. There's probably a few other ones lurking around there. I have two more from Skin Foods. So we have Bird's Nest. And I picked this up because I thought exactly that. Bird's Nest, Bird's Nest Sheet Mask. Don't really understand. Contains Swiftlet Nest, Bird's Nest Extract. I literally don't think I've ever heard of a face mask or any kind of beauty product containing bird's nest, so I'm gonna give that a go. And then another product that kind of caught my eye, this is a sheet mask that contains horse fat. I don't really know how I feel about the fact that I'm gonna be putting horse fat on my face, but I'm open to a lot of things, so I'll give it a go. Next, I have another product from Tony Moly, and I've seen these all over the internet, and I've gotta tell you guys, I'm so excited, but also a little bit nervous to try it. It's the Changing Magic Foot Peeling Shoes. Let me know if you guys have seen these videos, because literally, I'm gonna put these on like a sock, I think, leave them for a while, like sleep in them or something, and then after a few days, the skin is literally meant to peel off your feet. Like, it's literally some sort of like alien shit going on here because you're literally supposed to be able to peel off like essentially your entire foot, like a kind of lizard situation, which terrifies me, but also gets me really excited because I'm one of those weirdos that loves like all of those really gross things that you find on the dark side of YouTube. Oh my God, I actually forgot I got these. So two things that actually aren't beauty related at all, but I'm really bloody excited about. So these are from Momoi. Maybe I'm saying that right, Momoi apparently. And these are the Squeeze Ball Cats. So again, I saw these on Facebook and when I saw them on the website, I was like, I need to get some. So I bought one for Ollie. Oh my God, this is the most satisfying thing in the whole world. You know when something is so cute, you kind of just want to like, you kind of want to bite it. But I think they were literally like $1.50, $2 or something like that. So super cheap, I may have to get some more because Look at that. Next, I knew there'd be another one of these lurking around here somewhere. I have another sheet mask. This one's from Sun Smile and it's the Pure Smile Dog and Cat Art Mask. Will you be a cat? Who knows? I think you guys can tell that I'm kind of like obsessed with cats. I've got like cat headbands, cat face masks, cat squidgy things. That I don't really know what they are, but Oh my God, I love it. So I thought on the website that this would be kind of cute. I thought, oh, nice little cat. But looking at the mask, it actually looks kind of creepy. Um, but yeah, cat sheet mask. So the rest of this box, as you can see, is like makeup and stuff like that. So what have we got here? We've got another Pokemon product. This is from Tony Moly again. It's the Purin Peach Pact. This, I forget what this was. This is a cotton vanilla peach pack. So I'm thinking it's just like, a translucent powder or something. Yeah, it looks like that. Got a little jiggly puff on there. I then have another Pokemon product. This is the Pika Pika Get It Tint. And it looks like this. Is that a nail polish or is that actually a tint? Because now I'm confused. Okay, yeah, it is like a little tint. Ooh. Next, I've got something that I think I actually tried in my testing Korean makeup video, but I must have ordered another one. I obviously loved it that much. This is the Labiat Wine Angle Mascara. I'm not gonna open it because like I said, I do think I already have it, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like because it literally, it literally looks like a bottle of wine. And I think from what I remember, if this was the one I tried out, I actually quite like this. We then have What Are You? This is the I'm Meme. Um, May May box or meme box. I don't really know how to say that. I'm meme. I'm matte lip crayon in the shade Emily. Oh, I remember this actually. I remember it because it's like white. So it just looks like this. It actually looks more of like a concealer crayon than anything else, but I'll pop that there. 
Okay, that is, that is very, very pale. Let's see if I can like, put some on the center of my lips. That is super pale. Kind of wasn't expecting it to be that pale. I don't know why, because in the pictures it looked that pale, but I thought, there's no way, but it is. It is pale AF, but I like that kind of thing for sort of like lightening my lips. Next is another product that I am very, very excited for. And I literally just picked this up again because of how it looks. And it is the Kali Jumai. I'm literally gonna be saying these so wrong. Japan Limited Edition Flower Jelly. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I know there's a brand called Incredible that have just come out with some. Look, it's got a bloody flower in it. An actual flower, like. That is literally the most stunning little lipstick I think I've ever seen. Ooh, that smells good. I then have the Innisfree No Sebum Moisture Powder. I swear I had this once upon a time or maybe something similar. I can't open it, but this is basically just like a translucent powder. And yeah, I swear I did actually have like one of their No Sebum powders before. I don't think it was this one though. But from what I can remember, this is actually really, really nice. It's just kind of good for like on the go, blotting down your skin or whatever. I've then got a concealer from Etude House. This is just the Big Cover Tip Concealer in the shade Sand. Let's open that up. Let's see how that color might work. It's quite fair, but it's not too bad. I've got to say, you guys asked me to point this out in one of my previous videos. Um, and to be honest, I did just completely overlook it. So sorry about that. But if you are going to be buying like concealers, foundations, that sort of thing on this website, then good luck basically, because I'm pretty sure this is like the darkest that they go. Obviously I know the Asian market can be kind of different to like more westernized markets, um, but that is something to know. If you are looking to get a concealer or foundation, then they're gonna be very, very light. So if you're kind of anything darker than me, then you're gonna have a hard job finding something. I then have a few more products from that wine brand, the Labiot or whatever it's called. These are the wine lip tints. So we have one in the shade Shiraz Red, and then this one here in the shade Something Coral. That's a word that I just cannot pronounce. So I'm just gonna say coral. Again, literally just like this packaging. I'm just like so cute. So they've got like a little doe for applicator. This one is the coral one. Mmm, smells so good. And then the color that I have here is in the shade Shiraz Red, I think it was. Oh, that's quite a bit darker. Ooh, that is super red. Okay, very excited to give them a go. I then have the Real Fit Velvet Lipstick from Innisfree. I can't actually remember picking this up. I don't know what this looked like. Looks like this, kind of like a nice pinky shade. Oh, it's just like a regular kind of lipstick. I don't know why I was expecting it to be a liquid lipstick. But that is a really nice color. It reminds me of ColourPop Lumiere 2, I think it is, which I really, really like. I've then got the BBL Last Lipstick Red series. So this one here is in the shade six, I think. It doesn't really seem to have a name. Oh, that's quite snazzy. I don't think I've ever really seen like a green lipstick before. And of course it was a nude. I was there thinking to myself, did I buy myself like a red lipstick or something? But no, I obviously went and got myself a nude. So let's swatch that one on the back of my hand here. Ooh, that's a nice little nude, huh? It's kind of like a peachy brownie nude almost. Is it too much if I put some on right now? I've literally got like 70 different lip colors on my lips right now. Let's like put it on the outer part. Ooh, I like that. Actually looks quite a bit more peachy on, which, yeah, I'm a fan of that. I then have, what is this? Ooh, I forgot about these. So I then have some magnetic false lashes from Lactatia. It's an interesting name, but they look like this. They don't really look like too much to be honest, but I thought I'd do like a little video on them or something. I know a few more brands, like more mainstream brands have come out with, oh my God, these are like sticking to themselves, have come out with other magnetic um, lashes. So maybe I can like compare them or something, but thought that could be fun. I've got the Wine Angle Mascara again. So maybe I haven't tried that other one out. I think I did buy two. Well, evidently I bought two because I've got one right here, but maybe I didn't try that out. I can't remember, but evidently I like the wine packaging. I've then got a bunch of products from Pony Effect, which is the brand that you guys asked me to try out. I think Pony, if that is her name, um, I think she's actually a YouTuber or something. So that's pretty cool. So this is the Stay Fit Matte Lip Color and it's in the shade Fantastic. Ooh, that is, that is a fantastic color. I must admit. Oh my God, that is like, 
super dark. Mmm, that would have been really, really nice for Christmas, actually. I then have the Pony Effect Pro Liquid Concealer in the shade beige. Again, I think this was the darkest color. It ain't dark. Yeah, this is super fair, even though it's the darker shade. Pop that there. Very yellow tone, though. That could work really nicely on my under eyes. Ooh, that seems to have some coverage, like just blending that out quickly with my finger. That's got quite a bit of coverage, okay. What is next? We then have the, what are you? The Caradium, again, probably saying that wrong. This is the Pucker Love Edition Pen Eyeliner in the shade black. I remember, I've never seen this program before or whatever it is, but I remember I had like a lunchbox with this little face on it. Just cause I thought it was cute. So that actually just looks like a regular old pen. Ooh, hello there. Holy shit, that is black. I then have two lip products from the brand McQueen. And I remember when I saw this online that I thought these looked very, very similar to the Pericone MD. Like the packaging is literally like exactly the same. And this is a lip and cheek tint. Ooh, that is so moussey. And that smells like shampoo in the nicest way. Okay, that is like ridiculously thick. I was expecting like, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream Thick, but that is a whole other level. So this one here is in the shade number two. And then I also have one in the shade number seven. And I just dropped it on the floor. Didn't even smash. Good job. So yeah, this one here is in the shade number seven. And it's kind of like a nudie color. Like you guys can see, look how thick that is. Let's pop that there. That is like horrendously thick, but that is a really nice color. I then have another Tony Moly Pokemon product. This is the mini cover cushion in the shade Warm Beige. So I think this is just like a cushion foundation. Let's just open that up. Look at that cute little Pikachu. Oh my God, it gets even cuter. It's got a little Pokeball and everything. Just like the little cushiony thing. Next up is another product from Pony Effect. This is a highlighter, which looked pretty banging on the website. So I've got high hopes for this. Cute packaging. This is in the shade Fairy Tale. Another Pokemon product. This one here has a little Jigglypuff on the front and it is a, uh, what do you call it? The eye palette in the shade Puri. Let's open this up. Whoop. Got a little sheet going everywhere. Ooh, that red in the middle. Hello there. I then have a few products from the brand Too Cool For School. I think you can get these either on Beauty Bay or Cult Beauty. Maybe even both, um, but I wanted to try out a few products from them. So this is the concealer cream in the shade beige. This looks promising actually. Okay, that looks like a pretty good color actually. And it's just kind of like a standard concealer pot. And it also comes with a little tiny sponge, cute. So I've got that from that brand. And then I've also got the Art Class Contour something. It's like a little contouring set or whatever. The packaging is so, so nice for this stuff. So that is what it looks like there. And you've got a nice set of colors here. I then have the mini brow class drawing guide. So some little eyebrow stencils. Again, just thought it could be fun. Thought it could make some sort of good Instagram video. We also have another product again from Pony Effect. This is the Matte Master Eye Palette. Ooh, this is some nice packaging. Let's open that up. Oh yeah, I remember looking at this cause I was like, that green, Anastasia subculture. Next is something that I am so, so excited to try. And I actually think this is like the most expensive thing that I picked up from this entire haul. It is the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I think this was like $70 or something, $60 maybe. So it was not cheap, but I find it really hard to actually get a hold of this. And this is a brand that I've heard Nick's tutorials talk about in the past. Um, looks like this. Looks like a pretty good color, actually. What color did I get? One, four, three. Um, yeah, it's in the shade one, four, three. Let's just give it a little, a little swatch. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just mixed it with the swatch finger with like the green on it. So now I've got like green foundation. Okay, let's try that again. So it's just there. Again, you guys aren't really gonna be able to see much, but the fact that it's like blending into my skin indicates that it could be a pretty good color match. I mean, it looks pretty good from the bottle. So I am buzzing to try that because I've literally been wanting to try this out for like 
a couple of years now. Okay, so that was actually just the first box done. Now we've got the bigger one to go through. Ugh. I don't even know if this will fit on my desk. Um, no, it won't. Let's just pop it in there. So next, I think the majority of stuff in this box is kind of like beauty products, not really makeup as such, but more like skincare and that sort of thing. So the thing I have here is the Tony Moly Blackhead Steam Balm. Looks like this, it has an egg on the front, which makes me think that, yep, I thought it was this. It's in the shape of a bloody egg. I don't know why these things please me so much, but even like the middle of it looks like a bloody yolk. Ooh. Ooh. I was not expecting it to look like that. I was kind of expecting it to be like a clay mask or something. Interesting. Oh, no, I lied. I do actually have another makeup product, another Pokemon one. This is another cushion product, and I think it's a blusher. Another little Pikachu on the front. Look at those little cheeks. And again, Pokeball sponge. And then inside, let's just take off this little thing. Oh, that looks like a really nice color. I didn't actually realize I got so much Pokemon makeup. So let me know if you guys want like a full face of Pokemon makeup. Didn't really know that was a thing until now, but let me know if you want that. The next thing I have here is the bubble lip mask, which again, I picked up because I thought it sounded interesting. I think again, it's very similar to the carbonated milky piggy mask or whatever it was called, because I think it just like bubbles up and does something to your lips. I don't really know the benefits of like all this bubbling up stuff. So while I'm waiting for that to bubble up, I'll quickly go on to a few other products. So here I have two like moisturizing lip patches. This one here is from Etude House and this one here is from Tony Moly. They're kind of the same thing though. This is the Honey Jelly Lip Patch. Apparently it's very moisturizing. And the Kiss Kiss Lovely Lip Patch. And it's got some like berries there. And it's also got the creepiest looking, looking duck there as well. I've used a few things like this in the past and I love them, so I definitely wanted to give them a go. Again, I think they were like a couple dollars each or something, so pretty affordable. I've then got another product from Tony Moly, so again, the cutest packaging ever. This here is the banana sleeping pack. It says magic food banana. So I'm thinking this is just like a face mask that you put on at night. It's even got like one of those old school banana stickers on there. Oh, it's like a squeezy tube. Oh my god, that is the... I didn't think it was gonna smell like banana. Oh my god. Yum. Okay, I knew I bought a lot, but I did not realize I got this much. So next up, we have another one of these um, something milky piggy masks. This is the Elisa Vecca Kangski pack. And, oh, I think this is like the golden mask or something. I wonder if it actually is gold. Oh my god, it's actually gold. Yes. Next, I actually completely forgot that I got this. This is from Peri Pera, and it's the Fashion People's Carrier. And I mean, just look at this. It's a little tiny suitcase and it actually wheels around. And inside it actually comes with little stickers as well. So this is the New York one that I think I got. Let's stick one on. Let's stick a little donut on there. Doing. Perfect. And inside you've got Five little mini products. So we have the Ink Airy something. We've then got this Vivid Tint Water. I honestly cannot get over how cute these are because they are so goddamn small. I've then got this Ink Velvet Lip Product, I assume. Look at that color. We've then got the Ink Concealer, which looks like it's gonna be way too light for me, but that is fine. And then last but not least, I have the Ink Multi, which I don't really know what this is to be honest. Is it like a contouring? shade or something. Next up we have another creepy looking face mask. Apparently that's my thing today, just creepy looking face mask. This one is the Rubber Mask Moist Lover from Dr. Jar, which is a brand I think I've tried a few times in the past. I then have these condensed sheet masks from Lit Fly. I don't think these have like any skincare in them or anything like that. I think the idea is, is you get like a pot of serum or something like that and you put one of these little capsules in there and you kind of like DIY your own sheet mask or whatever. So I thought that could be quite good because I have a ton of skincare that I don't always get around to using. So I thought that could encourage me to use it up a bit more. And then last but not least, I have a bunch of different like gadgety things that I thought I could maybe even do a full video on. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. So let's take a look at those. So what we have here is the Evora Double Eyelid Shaping Tool. And it's literally just like a pair of glasses that I think kind of have like little wires that are supposed to lift 
your eyelids up or something. Not gonna lie, just by how this looks, I am kind of afraid. But let me know if you wanna see me try it out in a video. I then have the Noble Nose Shaper, which I literally think you like shove in your nose and it's supposed to like straighten out your nose or something. Um, yeah, again, I'm gonna have to look into this because I have no idea how it really works. All it really shows me is someone just like putting this clamp thing on their nose. So that could be fun. Then I have this, which has fallen out of the packet. This is the Lazy Corner Facelifting Roller. Another terrifying gadgety thing. I literally think you're supposed to like roll this up and down your face, which I don't wanna do right now because I'll probably remove my makeup, but it's literally supposed to like, you know what? I have no idea what this is supposed to do. I think it's meant to like massage your face or something, maybe lift it a little bit, but yeah, you're just supposed to kind of like roll it up and down your face. I then have this little thing from Soul Young. It's the eyelash tool. Now this isn't really that much of like a weird gadget. This actually seems kind of useful to be honest. So the idea is you just kind of like place it under your eye when you're doing mascara and then you won't get your mascara on your eyes or anything. And then same for up here. Ooh, that's quite useful. This is a little bit awkward, but that could be very, very useful. I've then got the Magic Beauty facial hair remover. So this is like, it looks terrifying to be quite honest with you. It's literally just like metal coils that I think is supposed to roll up and down your face and it's supposed to remove the hair on your face. Sounds terrifying, but again, if you guys want me to try it out in a video, let me know if you wanna see me struggle and if you wanna see me in extreme pain, then let me know and I will do that video. Last two things are both kind of like facial massager things. So this is the Micro 3D Face Roller. Uh, facelift promotes skin tightening and body shapening. Oh my God, this is massive. I thought on the website, this is gonna be like, kind of like the size of the facial shaver thingy. So it looks like this. Um, looks very interesting to say the least. And it just kind of like, rolls around as you guys may be able to see. Not sure I'll necessarily use that on my face because it is quite big, but I feel like maybe for my body. And then last but not least, this is another product from the brand Lit Fly, which did the little dry sheet mask thingies. This is the ceramic massage tool. It says face slim. And I could always do with a little bit of face slim. So it looks like this. And again, this is pretty cheap. It was like three or four dollars or something. I think I saw that Nurse Jamie had something similar to this. I think it vibrated or something, but it was the same kind of shape. So I thought I would give this one a go. I think you're supposed to kind of like massage your face with it, kind of like push out all the toxins or something. I don't really know, but I think you're supposed to get it like around your jawline with this little bit, maybe like around your face with this little bit. I don't know to be quite honest with you and I just wiped off half of my makeup. So um, I'm not gonna play around with that anymore, but let me know if you've tried anything like this because I thought it was quite interesting. Um, and yeah, super affordable as well. Okay, so that is everything that I have picked up from Yes Style. I actually have just placed another order because I'm kind of addicted to this now. So let me know if you guys would like me to do more K-Beauty, J-Beauty hauls in the future. If you guys have tried out any of the products that I have featured today, or if there's anything that you think I should be trying out, then let me know in the comments section down below. And also let me know if you guys do want me to do more like testing Korean makeup videos or something like that. As always, if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.